Hey crafters, welcome back to Volusia Library Gets Crafty. My name is Rhoda and today we are going to make a dirty pour, uh, paint pour, um, on a terracotta pot. So you can see a little bit of the gold coming through. A lot of jewel tones, even the bottom. And then I just painted the inside. I even did the, the coaster at the bottom. And the bottom is gold. But I just love all the colors and how they swirled. And because I do not like to waste, I took the leftovers and even though the colors are a little bit more mixed, um, I tried it out. Oh, there's a little bit that didn't get done. I'll fix that. It's easy fix. Okay, so get ready to get messy. Here we go. And to make the cells, I don't know if you can see the cells that broke up. Looks kind of like water, you know, the bubbles in the water. Um, I use just a, a spray silicone. Okay, there's that. Then obviously you need paint. Um, I'm just using a regular acrylic paint. All right. I already have some mixed in. I'm gonna use blues and grays and a little bit of cream to look more like an ocean theme. And uh, and for these, I've already mixed in the Floetrol. I'm going to put in a little bit of the silicone in some of the colors. Then you mix it around. I put it in three. I'd like to use met metallic too. Okay, so here's what you do. On my second one, I don't have the Floetrol mixed in. So you take the, the Floetrol and your paint that's already poured into a cup and it's about mm, one to one. Mix it up, it doesn't change the color of your paint, just makes it run. And you need it to be about that consistency, where it just runs right off. Okay, so let's put it in the rest of these. This one is a copper metallic, it's really pretty. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. Okay. Couple more, and then we'll get to the pour. Mixing these up. Okay. So one of my pots is going to be 
in blues, like I said before, blues and gray and silver. And then one of my pots is going to be um, in more jewel tones. We'll see how they turn out. Well, I think it'll be okay. All right, so a little bit of silicone and some of those. Mix that around. Oop. All right. Now we're ready to pour the paint into its um, container so that we can pour it onto the pot. All right. All right, here we go. dripping all right and you might need it to um, take maybe a toothpick or something and pop some of the bubbles I don't see too many but anyway kind of wanted more of the dark blue to show up but that's all right it is what it is so it'll drip for a while what you want to do is just take your dowel or your popsicle stick and just go around every once in a while and take off those um, drips. Okay, inside. Put a cup in there so it, it would catch the excess paint. And this is really pretty. I think I'm going to um, roll this while it's still wet. Okay, let's just see how it does. Okay, let's put it down on top of this. All right, let's move this over. 
and we'll get ready for the next one. All right, this one I said we were going to um, do more of a jewel tones, okay? So I do have some cream here, and I did add the Floetrol, but I did not add the silicone yet. So let's do that. So I use the same process as with the blue pot and um, swirled it from the top, let it drip down on the sides, and I got a lovely mixture of jewel tones. Thanks for watching. And as always, keep crafting, crafting, crafting.